Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Patrick Dink here and welcome to The Parallax, your number one source for all things NFT. Now, if you've been following NFTs for a while, you know that the space is just blowing up, right? Projects are literally coming out every single day. Some of them go crazy up in value. Some of them go up and down and crash and burn. And if you're lucky, you know, maybe you got into projects really early like Cool Cats and Cyber Kongs, which I am a proud holder of. You know, other projects, maybe you don't get so lucky where they have their five minutes of fame and then they fizzle out and then you basically just lose your money, right? And that's definitely happened to me before. And what I really want to do in this video is share with you some of the up and coming projects that I'm really taking a close look at. And I'm not here to tell you what to buy. I'm really just sharing, you know, what I am personally interested in and showing you my framework on how I look at projects to see if it's an opportunity that I personally want to buy into. And you want to make sure you watch this video until the end, because if you're someone who is starting out with NFTs and you're not really sure what's a good deal or what's a good project, who's in it for the long term, or who's just trying to do a cash grab and disappear with your money. Well, I'm really just trying to show you some cool projects that I think are cool. And more importantly, my goal is really to show you how to think about these projects so that you come in with the right tools and mindset to evaluate whether or not you want to get into something rather than relying on an influencer to tell you what you should buy. And of course, none of this is considered financial advice. I'm just sharing with you what I think is cool. So make sure you do your own research and do the due diligence before you jump into any of these opportunities. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive in. Now, before we go ahead and get started, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you want to see more videos about NFTs like this. And let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, so the first project that we are going to look at is Artifact Studios Clone X Picture Profile Avatar Project. I'll go ahead and go on their Twitter right now, as you can see, a really cool art going down over here. And Artifact Studios have been doing this for a while. So obviously the art is very important, but who is behind it is actually more important because they're the ones that's driving this project. You know, I watched a few hours of interviews with the founders of Artifact Studios. I'll go ahead and pop them up right here. But basically these guys have been in the gaming industry and I guess design industry for many years now and spent a lot of their careers in it. So they've been part of organizations like esports teams like Fnatic. And some of them did like Dota skins in the past and Dota is one of the most popular games in the world. So they have an eye and, and style for like what's coming up in the gaming industry and they know how to create good aesthetics. And another thing to note is like these guys have been doing NFT stuff before NFTs were cool in 2021, right? And so they've been doing it for a long time. They're in it for the long haul. And a lot of the stuff that they're teasing out is actually super cool. And one important thing to note is that number one, Gary V is an investor of this company, right? And also A16Z is also an investor of this company and they raised $8 million. So this isn't just like three random guys coming together to do an NFT project. Like they've been a company for a while. They raised a lot of money, millions, in fact, to make this a long-term thing. And so from a credibility standpoint, team standpoint, investor standpoint, so far it's looking good, right? But let's go ahead and dive into the art itself. So, you know, because it's very important to like what you buy, right? Okay, so personally what I like to do is I like to see what's going on on Discord, right? So if you go into the Clone X Discord, which is the Artifact Clone X uh, project, what you can do is you can go, go into announcements and you kind of see like, you know, what are the art that is coming out and you kind of look at what's the engagement, right? And so obviously these pieces are quite unique for NFT picture profiles. Usually people are doing like pixel art or 2D drawings or something like that, but it takes a lot of work to do like these 3D renders and you know, a lot of them are actually very good. So, so far the art gives a big pass for me because personally, you know, they got that anime style, they got that 3D style, which I am a big fan of, but beyond just like having it as a picture profile, there's gonna be a lot of utility to it as well. So for example, because these are 3D avatars, right off the bat, you're gonna be able to use this in the metaverse. Um, if you don't know what the metaverse is, it's basically just a digital world where you're gonna live and do stuff and hang out with your friends, like basically like a video game, like on the internet. Probably um, speculation, but like by buying one of these picture profiles, you're gonna get a 3D model of this that you can use in different games, probably like Decentraland, or I don't know, maybe they're gonna, you know, whatever other projects come out, you know, it's gonna be cool to port your avatar in there. So it's not just a picture that you buy, there's actually real utility that you can probably use in video games. So let's go ahead and hop on their website to get a feel of what they're all about. The website actually is pretty slick. It's not just like a static image where they just tell you like the roadmap and you know how to mint. It's actually quite cool if you think about it. Um, I'm, I'm sure it took a lot of work to build this, right? Starting from the top to bottom, let me tell you why I personally feel like this is a strong project. Well, first off, one thing I wanna mention is that they're gonna do a collaboration with uh, Takashi Murakami, who is one of my favorite, personally, contemporary artists who does like more Japanese style, uh, pop art kind of thing. He, he did a lot of stuff with Kanye West and a lot of big artists. So it's a really big plus to have someone like him working on these projects. And I'm guessing that, you know, any of the avatars that, you know, you see these signature flowers. Yeah, so anything with the flowers, the colors, the rainbows, 
uh, those eyes, which is what Takashi Murakami is known for. Very cool that they have a collaboration like that. One thing that's really interesting about this project is it's not just like a video game character that you port in a game or something. I would think of it like almost like a fashion brand where these are your avatars that you use in these digital worlds, but you can also customize and flex on your friends by buying clothes that Clone X will also be making for your avatars, right? So if you think about it, the value is, you know, when people are playing Fortnite, for example, it's a free to play game, but how does Fortnite make their money? They sell skins and they sell like a bunch of other like emotes and things like that, right? So digital assets are a big business in video games, but why this is so special is because when you buy a skin in Fortnite, it's trapped within Fortnite. It's not like you can take it out and use it in another world, but for Artifact Studios and Clone X, what I'm guessing they're gonna be, you're gonna be able to do is everything that you buy is going to be able to translate to other different worlds and you could pro possibly sell that for ethereum or something um, and actually you know use your skins and use the clothes that you have and you can sell it later for real money and convert it into us dollars for example right and so that's quite a big revolution where you own the things that you buy and you can sell it later and so clone x wearables you wear for your avatars metaverse ready use it in the metaverse like uh decentraland for example forging events meaning that you can take your digital clothes and turn it into real clothes and you wear it in the real world in real life and special access to you know other experiences and probably other drops in the future from a utility perspective there's quite a lot of utility because by buying one avatar you get access to like maybe the clothes that you want to buy in the future uh it's maybe special events and maybe even you know getting those clothes and and making them in real life and having them shipped to your house right and so a lot of utility besides just having a 3d character and if you want to look at past success they collaborated with like ferocious which is a pretty popular web 3 artist these days jeff staple which is you know one of the ogs in streetwear uh, the meta key and so you know like if you look at the, the prices of these projects they're all going crazy and so it's not like this is their first rodeo they've been doing this for quite a long time now i think like two years their company has been founded and if you are interested in minting this project and it's going to be 0.05 ETH each so it's not too expensive but it'll probably sell out pretty fast so if you want to learn more about it just check out the discord check out the website to learn more about you know minting and whitelisting and seeing how you might be able to get one or just buy one on the secondary market on OpenSea, whatever is your taste okay so a couple notes when you buy this project, right? Well, number one, it might be difficult to buy it at mint, meaning that, you know, minting it directly from the contract. So you might have to buy it on the secondary market. Now, if you buy it on the secondary market, there's gonna be a lot of hype around this project. They have over 130,000 Twitter followers, meaning that it's literally gonna sell out instantly, probably. The secondary market, the prices might be extremely high and it's hard to say if it's worth it because for a lot of projects, there's a lot of hype. And then, you know, a week later, then it starts dying. Um, not dying, but then the price will fall, right? So if you're someone that's looking for a good deal, just be mindful of knowing when something is overly hype and artificially hype, make sure that you don't get in at a very high price. So obviously minting is the best because you're minting it for the cheapest possible. But if you can't, just don't FOMO in just because everyone's buying because, you know, prices go up and down. Markets are unpredictable. You want to make sure you do not lose money. So the next project we're going to be talking about is going to be Hape Beast. So if you are a familiar with Hype Beast, you know, which I am a fan of, Hate Beast kind of is a play on that where it's like you're taking, it looks like Hype Beast, the logo high beast kind of but then they replace it with hape like ape ape and they put h there so it's kind of like um board eight yacht club if they went you know super streetwear and they're gonna have eight thousand of these guys coming out right so right off the bat when i'm looking at the art itself it's very strong very very strong so it's kind of like a fashion brand if you think about it so people who are into like supreme and jordans and like yeezys i'm guessing they would also be the audience for this type of stuff uh personally i think it's pretty cool the trailer looks pretty strong the 3D is very strong. Look at look at the way these monkeys move. It's like very, um, I'm not sure how we did those graphics, but very natural, very human-like. Once you like the art, right, it goes into like who is a team behind it. So if you scroll down, look at a team, a Digimento, founder of Hate Beast, uh, Digimento Studios. And you know, I was actually curious. I was like, who is this guy? And I actually went on his LinkedIn. I guess I'm a little bit of a stalker, you know, don't hate me for that. So I guess his name is Matt, founder of Hape. And he's been designing for over 10 years, probably as, I'm not sure if he's a freelancer or if it's like a full blown out studio, but his clients are like Nike, Air Jordan, Foot Locker, BBC. Um, so a lot of big companies so it's not like he's a newbie who just found himself in the nft space but he's been you know designing professionally for like 10 years probably 10 years plus doing it as a legitimate career and now he's moving into the nft space which is something i like to see obviously if you look here 
they got a whole team from smart contracts, utility, strategy, music. So they got a lot of different people. And I really like how, you know, this person is like a real person. It's not like an anonymous person that, you know, can disappear with your money because it's like people know his name, people know his company. So it doesn't feel like a rogue poll from, from my opinion, I, I would say. And then from there, what we want to do next, we check the roadmap. So like, you know, once these things drop, there's going to be 8,000 of them. Like what's next? Where does the value come from? What is the utility? Beginning, they're going to drop the hate beast. They're going to add some music. All right. Second drop, they're going to drop more of these monkeys, special collections uh some 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 me engineering I'm not sure what that is clothing collapse hate couture the runaway fame so my guess is like you know they're just gonna keep dropping more nfts more i guess possibly more monkeys and clothes for their monkeys so similar to artifact studios it's kind of like being a fashion brand in the metaverse so i'm guessing maybe one day you can use this monkey this character in the metaverse and that would be pretty cool and if you can like stylize your ape with you know these kind of cool clothes then it's quite unique actually because i think they put a lot of effort into designing these clothes to make it look very relevant and fresh for i guess you know the times right just like clone x uh hate beast has i think over a hundred thousand maybe even more much more than that in their discord i mean the collection is probably gonna sell out instantly um there probably are ways to get on the whitelist you just check their discord to see more information on that just remember this it's a cool project personally i like it i'm looking into buying one myself but you have to be careful because if you can't mint it because it mints out like instantly you don't want to buy it at an extreme extremely high price because the prices go up and down like crazy it fluctuates so never bet money that you can lose because you're going to be forced to sell when things go south if they go south so there's so many examples of that like if you look at a project mechaverse which is you know a project that i was really hyped for when you know they started like teasing some stuff out so it's a cool project it's a similar story where you know you have designers who have been designing professionally and they're getting into the nft space they want to do something cool right so it's like gundam but like nfts and the average price like in october was like six seven people were paying like eight ethereum to buy one of these megaverse and then now it's like you know it went down to like one ethereum now it's up to like 1.4 so anybody who bought it at eight ethereum and sell it for one they, they had a huge loss right the thing you have to pay attention to is like be careful when you buy because sometimes the artificial hype might drive a price up when the prices are pumping that's not the right time to buy because it can fall right it can fall very easily for me personally what i like to do is i look at projects that are cool that have long-term potential and like the, the founders really care about the project and then i'm looking for these deals where maybe i can get something for like one ethereum or two ethereum when it used to be like eight or ten ethereum it can still go down but but because it already went down like 80%, your chances of losing money are less than if you bought it at eight Ethereum, right? So if you are interested in like streetwear culture and hip hop and like things like that, check out Hate Beast. Follow them on Twitter, follow them on Discord. You know, they're not paying me to say this. It's just a project that I'm personally looking at and, and possibly wanting to get into. And so for this video, those are gonna be the two projects, Hate Beast and Artifact Studios, uh, Clone X. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And let me know in the comments what kind of videos you wanna see next. Do you want me to analyze different projects? You know, share what I'm thinking about, you know, getting into, uh, because I'm always happy to hear your suggestions. And so with that said, my name is Patrick Dang. Thank you for joining us at The Parallax, and I'll see you guys in the next one.